PlayStation fans are concerned about Microsoft finalizing the deal this weekend to purchase Activision and Blizzard. I got all of the details for you guys coming up. You don't want to miss a single thing. Watch until the entire end. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Monkey Flop here, and the FTC won't let me be. <laughs> Anyways, um, the FTT actually, FTC actually tried to stop Microsoft from purchasing uh, Activision and Blizzard. You hear me laugh in this video. It's a nervous laugh, okay? I'm a PlayStation fan, okay? And Microsoft now owns one of the first PlayStation games I ever played, Crash Bandicoot. They also own Spyro now. They also own the entire catalog of Call of Duty and whatever's coming out in the future. Overwatch 2, there's so many games that they have acquired in this purchase, and that's the reason why they wanted to purchase it. But what does it mean for us PlayStation gamers? That's what I want to get into. Now, I honestly sat down, and before I turned on my PC, I'm like, okay, I definitely need to talk about this situation with Microsoft. I haven't done it, um, and a lot of you guys have been requesting it. I turned on my PC, and I get prompted with a bunch of advertisements on my PC for Games Pass. Like, really? Really, Microsoft? You, like, you purchased Activision and Blizzard, now you wanna slap me in the face with a bunch of advertisements to get Games Pass? No, thank you. Now, there's a lot of rumors, there's a lot of things that a lot of people have been talking about. We haven't heard too much from Microsoft and Activision as far as what their plans are in the future we do know that a lot of the games are gonna, still going to be on playstation consoles we do know that for the next couple of years hopefully i say hopefully uh, because microsoft and xbox can change their mind at a dime uh, but hopefully we still get call of duty coming to playstation and we don't need to have like a games pass or you know something weird like that what a lot of people are speculating is what's going to happen is especially with call of duty and this is honestly a no-brainer this is definitely going to happen all of the dlc for all of these games are going to come out first on xbox they want to get gamers over to xbox which i'm like i've been a playstation fan all of my life no thank you but they're going to be pushing for gamers to cross over to the dark side <laughs> now if you're an xbox fan i apologize it's a joke um but i am a playstation fan and honestly a lot of this is concerning but a lot of the dlc is going to be first on xbox and then it will come and trickle down to playstation as far as what's going to happen with new releases and new games from these ips we're going to have to wait and see, to be honest with you. Microsoft and Xbox is in it to win it, uh, but they're also in it for the money. Uh, they are a business. And what I've said in the past, and I repeat this so many times, is that console wars between gamers is dumb. We shouldn't be arguing about what is the best. Leave that up to these companies. Console wars within companies, PlayStation, Nintendo, Microsoft, Console wars between them is great because competition breeds a better product. We're going to have to wait and see what PlayStation does. They definitely have to step it up, especially with Microsoft and Xbox now owning a lot of the popular IPs. And some of you guys might not even care about Call of Duty, but over 1 million people play Call of Duty exclusively on PlayStation over 1 million and if that goes to xbox then you know that is definitely concerning because over 1 million people pay for playstation plus 60 dollars a year just to play call of duty um you know that was me in the past i will be completely honest i haven't played a lot of uh, call of duty except for zombies in the past couple of years um just because call of duty is kind of getting bland to me um they they do add new things and it is pretty interesting but it still feels the same right now currently i'll be honest with you guys i've been playing a lot of overwatch 2 uh I, overwatch 2 is my jam currently as far as like multiplayer games goes um especially because i can play on um, my playstation 5 and it's linked 
my account is linked to my PC, so I can play Overwatch 2 on my PS5. I can play it on my PC. I can play it on my Nintendo Switch. And all of the DLC that I purchased, all of, uh, you know, the upgrades that I've done, um including the season pass that all transfers over from one console to another and i love that but i'm kind of concerned that that might go away on playstation especially uh you know in the, the upcoming years but again we're gonna have to wait and see what microsoft and xbox does with uh, activision and blizzard they are in it for the money of course they want more uh gamers to come over to xbox but at the same time do they really want to miss out on all of the money that they could be making if the games are still on multiple platforms? Um, I doubt it. They're they're in it to win it, but they're also in it for the money. They are a business that that's what businesses do. Um, they create a product and then they want to sell it to as many people as possible. And are they going to restrict themselves with having all of these games exclusive on Xbox only? Honestly, only time will tell. Um, the biggest concern for me, honestly, is if games pass. And some of you guys would be like, oh, that, that would actually be awesome. But for me as a PlayStation gamer, the biggest concern would be Xbox Games Pass coming to PlayStation. Um, that would be a, a big concern for me because then not only would these games be exclusive on Xbox, if you wanted to play them on PlayStation, you have to you would have to subscribe to Xbox Games Pass. Um, that's a whole nother uh, story for another video, um, but I did want to bring that up because that's something that a lot of people have been talking about as well. But I want to pass a question off to you. Do you think this is going to make a big impact on PlayStation gamers as a whole? Uh, you know, I know a lot of you guys um, play a lot of PlayStation exclusives. There's a lot of great games coming to the PlayStation 5. There's a lot of great games that are already out on PlayStation 5 that are exclusive to PlayStation. Um, you know, a lot of the games that Microsoft and Xbox have purchased through this deal with Activision and Blizzard are on multiple platforms. They're not exclusive. So we're going to have to wait and see what Xbox and Microsoft is going to label as exclusive on their console or on their games pass for that matter. Um, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated if any information changes or if we get you know more more news coming from um microsoft and xbox but this is kind of crazy news it's crazy times we're living in man um uh, if you would have asked me the beginning of this year if this deal would go through i'd be like heck no the ftc actually tried to stop it from happening and microsoft and xbox still got what they wanted Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like for me. Bring you guys the news. Comment down below. Give me your honest opinions. And if you're new, subscribe with those bell notifications turned on. And I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.